Hi guys, Alex here from Drayton's. Here we've got Skoda Kodiak 1.5 TSI ACT SE DSG, finished in petrol blue metallic paint. One of my favourite colours, uh, petrol blue. Uh, all the wheels and tyres are in good condition. These are 18 inch alloys. I believe they're called Elbrus alloys. At the back, uh, you do get a nice large boot. This is the five-seater version of the Kodiak, so you have a whole load of space in the back of the car. Um, the back seats will fall down if you need any extra space, and the centre seat will fall down individually to give you some through loading if you need it as well. You've also got um, sort of tie hooks on either side, some more storage right and left. There's a nice big open boot. This car's got MOT until July 2024, and will come with a Skoda service history. Have the cloth seats, um, nice and comfortable. Um, decent bolsters on the side to keep you in place, but they are built more for comfort than sort of sporty feeling. But they are nice and comfortable. Uh, up front we've got your rev counter on the left, speedo on the right and your digital screen in the middle. Currently showing your digital speedo but you've also got various other things like average speed, fuel range, that sort of stuff on there. Um, then you've got different tabs either side. Uh, so you've got your assist systems on here, so you've got front assist, you do also have um, speed limiter as well. <coughs> um, and then moving further down you've got your audio telephone vehicle status and back to your driving data on there on the main screen we've got uh, smart link for apple carplay and android auto so you can have your own phone screen on the screen in the car uh, if you prefer just to have your calls and your music coming through then you can do that just via bluetooth as well you do also have DAB, FM, AM radio, uh, your aircon settings are on here, um, and your vehicle settings as well, so you can change the volume of the parking sensors, um, stuff like that, change what's on your instrument cluster. Um, so if you don't want a digital speeder, you can take that off entirely, um, and then change all your driver assistance things and stuff like that. Um, moving down, we've got dual zone climate control system, so you've got a temperature for the driver and the passenger. You can sync them both up as they are now, so when you change the driver, the passenger will change as well, or you can have them both separate. Uh, you'd also have a heated rear screen, uh, engine start stop just down there as well. Uh, moving further down, you've got a little storage area just under here with a 12 volt socket and a USB input. And then we've got a DSG automatic gearbox, so you've got a standard drive mode and you've also got a sporty setup for the gearbox. In sport it will um, hold the revs a bit longer and optimise it more for performance, whereas in standard drive it is set more for efficiency. Uh, then we've got uh, an electronic parking brake and hill hold assist. And you do also have um, rear park pilot, so you've got the display and the audio for that as well. And just under here we've got more storage area, um, so you've got your, the key is keyless start, uh, more storage under here and then you can also flip this little insert so you've got uh, cup holders and um, a little place for the key as well so you can pop the key directly in there um, and then you've got some cup holders and some more storage anyway <coughs> um, and then you've got an adjustable armrest in the centre um, up front we've got a nice laid out steering wheel, so on the left hand side you've got your track skip and volume controls, on the right hand side you've got the controls for the digital drives display and your assist systems as well. Um, at the back you've got your um, speed limiter setter on here, uh, then you've got rentings and wipers, automatic lights and heated and electrically adjustable wing mirrors as well. Just moving to the back. Good amount of space, uh, that's in my actual driving position, so you can see there's loads of leg room. Um, I'm 5'11", so I'm not the shortest, but I'm not the tallest either, but there's so much leg room, it's uh, kind of ridiculous. Um, the seats um, do recline slightly as well, uh, you've got fix anchor points on the outer seats, and a central armrest with a couple of cup holders, and if I can find the button, you do also have um, your through load there as well, there we go. Uh, so you do have a uh, through load hatch if you need someone either side and then longer items then you can do that as well um, you also got a 12 volt socket storage pockets behind the seats and decent sized door bins as well it's a nice easy car to drive despite it is a big car but it doesn't feel 
too big on the road so if you're not used to cars of this size it is uh it's fairly easy to get used to, to be fair. Um, it will come with six months gold glove warranty, which can be extended for as little as £199 for an extra six months. We also have a range of finance options available, so if finance is something that you're looking for, then we can help you out with that as well. If you need any more information on this car or any of the other cars we have in stock, please go to drayton's.co.uk. Thank you.